Uh, he's also audacious. He's really audacious. He want, you want to make New Relic a huge company. Yeah, I mean, there's... I mean, you're not just hoping somebody buys you someday. You're doing this for a whole then what, thing. Then what would I do? You know, yeah. my, my wife would just kick me out again to start another company because <laughs> I'd drive her crazy. Um, so, no, I, um, I built one company and sold it, and I have no regrets how that went. But um, because I talked about my role and how I spend my time, I've thoughtfully tried to design my role and my company so that I love my Monday so much, and my employees love their Monday so much, there's nothing we'd rather be doing. I think this is one of the problems with a lot of the companies in Silicon Valley. They think, um, look, you can put up with a job you don't like for a few years, because it'll all work out in the end when these options might be worth something, and then we can start living the life we want to live. I think that's just the wrong way to look at it. I think we should sort of, you know, basically, if you structure your work life so it's, you're doing what you love, and you're doing with people you admire and respect and love, then why would you want to do anything else? Yeah. Um, and so this is the last job I ever want to have, and I want to be doing it for a lot longer. Um, I love to build software. I still get to do that. I still, I'm doing it with, but I, I you know, I love building, you know. Where did this philosophy yeah. come from, though? What, what, what did that motivate? Was that something from your parents, or was it something you ah. just have developed over your professional life? I mean, ah, it seems I don't so know. simple it's... on one level, but, what, you know. I don't know, it's just, I guess it's common sense that, you know, in life so many times, if all you're doing is chasing the outcome rather than really focusing on, you know, why what you do matters. Yeah. Um, so the outcome might be some financial goal is the only reason it matters. I mean, like, who really gets excited about that? Right. Um, um, and, and by the way, those companies where the only reason why um, people come in and work on a Monday is because there's some pot of gold at the other end, and that's the only thing keeping them in the company. Those companies don't weather storms very well, right? And startups will, we will have to weather storms.